tension mounts at a police roadblock in Kabul, Afghanistan. These points of entry into the city are the only real opportunity for police to find arms and explosives used by the Taliban to destabilize the government, and so are vital for security. Kabul is a very dangerous city, with a staggering 90 reported cases this year alone of car bombs, murders and kidnappings. These police checks have a surprise guest, though, a German police officer who is on secondment for Berlin to work for EU Pol in Afghanistan. It's Hardy Peth's first day on the job, and he wants to see how Afghan police, who were trained by EU Pol, are coping. EU Pol is just one EU project in Afghanistan, but is an important one as Afghan police officers earn too low salaries to live on and often resort to corrupt practices, resulting in slack security. Police here fear for their lives, and they have good reason to. This spot was the latest car bomb attack, killing 17 Afghanis and three US soldiers. The police may have quickly patched the crater up, but it's a stark reminder that they need to smarten up their act. Creating security is key, so a delegation of MEPs from Brussels is visiting Afghanistan to see where the EU can increase its support to EU poll. You have to remember that last year over a thousand Afghan police officers were killed in this country. Security is important so the government can operate uh, as a going concern and bring about the development that's necessary within this country. The police are hated here. These officers do not wish to even stay stationary for 30 seconds through fear of attack. Life is cheap in Kabul, and many believe that after six years of trying to rebuild Afghanistan, NATO forces are struggling to convince humble Afghanis of their optimistic outlook. The hard sell, as while the cost of living gets harder by the day, security and public services seems to be continuously deteriorating. It's a delicate balancing act, which NATO forces know could bring the country returning to its old ways so easily. It may be a hard sell, but some European soldiers are having success in changing the way people think and behave towards these NATO forces. As darkness falls in Kabul, insurgents move around and conduct their business more freely. On the other side of town, British soldiers are briefed for their night patrol, which involves scouting a suburb for Taliban activities. It's a dangerous job, and these soldiers rely on the goodwill of locals to tip them off of any strangers moving in the area. Shifting from shantytown housing estates to more built-up areas, these young men know they risk their lives each night in this dangerous city. 25-year-old Captain Fred Wells looks over his shoulder to watch the shadows while his colleagues chat with locals and try and win their confidence. <laughs> the idea is to build trust so that people inform the soldiers of Taliban activities. But fighting the Taliban is done on many fronts. Just 30 kilometers outside of Kabul, we found Italian soldiers securing a valley known to be a Taliban stronghold. Here, insurgents hide and plan their attacks on Kabul. These Italians are well known and generally liked by villagers who have accepted them into their community, despite attempts by Taliban to both attack the troops and to convince locals that they should support the insurgency. This is a daily battle which involves a constant dialogue and understanding of local problems in what is a very poor area of the country and so vulnerable to insurgents. People is going to start trusting us. They are seeing us and perceiving us not just as uh, soldiers being present here but a hope, a different hope. The Italians have recently just built this medical center and are now planning a school. It's a long-term investment, which no one can afford to get wrong. Here, the commander visits a local hero to check which medicines he needs for the sick. So at least a little more time and time for the okay. you are at. The governor, we call you. The governor. It's a similar story when we catch up with him later, after his men spot part of a rocket left on the side of the road. Okay, as you can see, there are these group of stones. Right. The warhead is missing. I consider these a, a very good indicator of the support that we are receiving from the local populations, because they trust us, and instead of uh, giving uh, weapons and explosive materials to the insurgents, uh, they start handing those to us. What is important is to convince that uh, there is a different alternative uh, to the one offered by the Taliban. 
But will developments in Brussels create a different political alternative for European troops carrying out their tasks in Afghanistan? There's much talk at the moment by MEPs to give European troops their own unique role. We caught up with French General Philippe Morion just before he left for Afghanistan. He believes it's time for European armies to have a special mandate inside NATO. Not only is it possible, but for me it's desirable that this policy develops and the stakes are high. It's not just a problem for individual nations, but for continents. Europe is working side by side with the Americans, not as a junior partner, but as equals. That is why the European NATO alliance is so important. Jeffrey Van Orden, a former brigadier, is fighting this initiative though and says that the EU should leave military operations to NATO. The European Union should drop its military ambitions and focus on the areas where it can be helpful. The European Union should concentrate on civil aspects and should be trying to complement what's happening um, from other organisations. What we need is reconstruction first, supported by the military. In the north of Afghanistan, such reconstruction takes the form of a huge water management project. Water here is a lifeline, a vital link. The entire region depends on this river, which is already dangerously low. After 30 years of war, two massive dams built by the EU could now give this area, close to the Tajikistan border, a vital shot in the arm, and may even allow farmers to yield two crops a year and provide work for the very poor. We are giving the opportunity to produce more food. Food security is very important. And there are many people returning from Pakistan and Iran from the refugee camps who can in this way find a new livelihood. Meanwhile, as dawn breaks south of Kabul, the Italians carry out a special operation following a tip-off from villagers that there is a Taliban arms cache nearby. The intelligence finally paid dividends with two Russian-made rockets easily capable of reaching Kabul found just centimeters beneath the surface. These soldiers made their job look easy, but it will be tough months ahead for MEPs if they rush into a new EU mandate in Afghanistan, even with a reworked European treaty. Afghanis are getting poorer by the day, and public services are deteriorating. Brussels could do so much to help build the country's infrastructure, its roads and public health facilities, for example, and even small businesses. Perhaps it's time to simply listen to the man in the street.